Here's a quick little video on how to add shared folders to the system. Um, first thing you want to do probably is go to my computer and then go to like your C drive or wherever you're going to, whichever drive you're going to have these shared folders on. Go to new folder and I'm just going to name this one documents. And then we'll make another one called invoices. Now, we can go right click and go down to sharing and security, but I want to show you the other way. Go to start, administrative tools, active directory users and computers, and then down here under the users folder, right click and go to new, and then you can go to shared folder from there. Now, you can name this whatever you want, but I named the one invoices, so let's do that. And then the network path. would just be the name. Like your server, and then the name. And then you can do it again for another. documents alright and once you've shared both of those folders you want to go back to my computer the C drive or wherever drive has your shared folders and then right click and go to sharing and security and then we want to share this and you can leave the default and you can set permissions for users or groups um, but that should be it just for this share this folder alright now if we jump to a Windows XP machine you should get a listing of all the shared folders. There you go. Invoices and documents. And it won't let me write, so I have to change permissions. But as you can see, documents and invoices are shared. I'm going to want to unshare those. And there we have it. back to XP it worked